Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Gecko Kujo. Now, when we left off, we had done our Marathon Edition episode, and we had almost eliminated the Nanbu Clan, or at least they are going to be eliminated in a very short space of time. Hopefully, these two units right here are going to be the last vassals we will see from the Nanbu Clan, and maybe they will then decide to defect to us, or maybe even defect to the Uesugi clan, which would not be a very nice thing for them to do, but I'm going to see whether he, ah, whether he wants to join us here. As you see, we might be able to persuade him here. Let's see. I ask for your support, and I would uphold your rights as a samurai. Yes, you would be safer. Okay. Mm, I think I may have chosen the wrong thing there, but we'll see. It is time for you to make a decision. Aha! There we have it. We have gained some right to rule, and he has joined us. So, it does appear as though 91 strong units. Lord Uida has now joined us. We're going to be seeing if Lord Tani also wants to join us. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. And he is a Chosokabe defector by the looks of things. That would be quite nice to have on our side, but... If he says no, then our wife, Lady Marisa, will no doubt take care of him in a rather brutal fashion. Oh yes. Aha! We might have the ability. Let's see here. I would hold your rights as a samurai. Yes, let's do that. Yes. Ah, okay. Well, he is totally dead. But <laughs> it appears we need to give... George? We need to give George to this fellow. Well... Hmm... Should I do this? Hmm... I'm not sure. Okay, let's do it. And... There we have it. Your surgeon managed to convince my friend and made the operation. The matter is in God's hands now, and all we can do is pray for his recovery. And there we have it. We have actually increased our relation with him rather considerably. And as you may have seen just there, Lord Tani is now being pursued by Lady Marisa. Not in the good way either. So yes, he'll probably be defeated if she has enough pathfinding to catch him. But I think what I'm going to do is patrol around Nanbu clan territory, see if there are any other vassals here. If we do not see any, then I will, of course, make my way back to Kyoto and make our war preparations against the Uesugi clan. I might actually be able to do it right now. If I'm able to find any Uesugi clan vassals, then I can probably give them our demands and so forth and head on from there. I could probably attack that caravan, but I don't really like doing that. I think taking out a vassal is probably a little more important. And I think this is the last one that they took, this last fief here. And let's hope that some of the Usugi clan vassals are still here. Oh, okay, they're not in the garrison. Are they anywhere around here, though? It's a little bit strange why they would be here. I don't think they will be, actually, so... Hmm, okay, I think I might have to... Really? Where is Hirokawa? Is it... Oh my goodness, it's all the way in the north. Okay, well, there does appear to be another Nanbu clan vassal then. We are going to be chasing after him, and there is an Uesugi clan vassal. Okay, well, unfortunately, considering there is still a Nanbu clan vassal, I think we'll probably want to take him out first. So now we just need to find him. I'm hoping he's going to be running by Hirosaki, but... That's probably unlikely. He has just looted this, after all. So, oh! Wow, there is actually someone still here. This fellow only has one unit remaining. And who else do we have here? 65,000 gained to the treasury. We have Lord Sasai. I see. Well, we're going to, I suppose, engage this guy. And I think what I'll do is I'll cut away here. I'll try and find a larger vassal. And if I can, then so be it. But if I can't, then we'll be heading to... The Uesugi vessel to declare war on him. Okay, so this is the only other vassal that I could see in the area that was from the Nanbu clan. I have no idea where the fellow went that was raiding our village here, but 
I suppose this is better than nothing, and we're just going to be taking him out. I'm pretty sure that Lord Sesai is going to be patrolling around the area, hopefully a little bit further, and Lady Marisa as well. So if that other fellow decides to pop up anywhere, then we will no doubt deal with him in the most severe way possible, of course. And that is, of course, insulting him. Yes. Not killing him, that's for sure, yes. Okay, so we're just going to take out these guys right here, and then we're going to head on to the Uusugi clan, and we'll see what we can do to insult them as well. It seems like a pretty decent plan, in my opinion. And it does appear as though the text box has disappeared, unfortunately, so we'll just have to make do with a larger screen space. It's rather nice, actually, not to have that in the bottom left, but it is rather nice to see in sieges when you are potentially taking more losses than you know what to do with, so, hmm, maybe it's good in field battles, but not so much here, because we can just bring up the view orders screen, of course, and we can see what's going on, but there it is anyway. Very nice victory. We lost one Hatamoto Cavalry, but that's not too bad at all, and I think we'll take some of these guys. I mean, we are a little bit lower in the amounts of units that we can actually field, so we may as well. Okay, so where are we going to head now? We're going to be heading downwards, and we're probably going to be taking this castle first, consolidate our territory in the north, and make our way down. Because many of our fiefs in that area are pretty well looked after, I have to admit, in the center of Japan. I mean, Kyoto itself has... What is it now? I believe over 1,600 troops garrisoned there or something like that. I have no idea, but there's a lot to go through whenever I need to go back there and sort out my army, but goodness me, yes. Hmm. Well, we are at Yokote Castle here. Yokote? Hmm, perhaps. And, ah, there it is! Okay, so it does appear that the vassal that raided that village in the north defected and hopefully joined us. I could not tell you because, of course, we cannot see the text box here, so... We're just going to hope to find an Uusugi clan vassal to wage war against. Or I could just head in here and see what that does. Not much, probably. Nope, it doesn't. Unfortunate. I really just don't want to head down to Kyoto. I have a feeling that if I head down there, it is going to be way too long a distance to travel just for that. So I would really like to just find a vassal if possible. These two are so easy to take as well. We'd be able to take those in a matter of minutes. Well, maybe not, but still, that would be rather nice. And here we have it. We have Lord Kojima. Well, we're going to be heading over here and taking him out. Or at least what we're going to be doing is waiting until daytime. And, oh, hmm. That is not too fun, as well as having morale issues. That is not good. So what I'm hoping to do is wait until morning. I do prefer fighting in the daytime, of course, and it does make... Well, the YouTube video a little bit lighter, too, because it is rather hard to see in nighttime. And now, let's see here. Shall we try to persuade him? No, that is not going to work. So, we're just going to be delivering our demands. Oh, yes, let's do it. Okay, so we have 176, they have 118, and it is us, the Bertolt Shogunate against the Uesugi clan, the last remaining foe that we have to vanquish before Japan is reigned over by us, the Bertil Shogunate, and us alone, of course. So, let's see here, what are the Uesugi going to do here? Let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we don't run into any of these very thin trees, because, of course, I do have a phobia of that, or no, never mind. It does appear as though they are clippable, so it's rather nice, and we can pass through them without any issues whatsoever. That is great. So, we're not going to charge in here like we did previously to that Nanbu clan vassal, of course. We do want to have a little bit of tactics, shall we? And we'll move our cavalry over there. That should be good. And, yes, use weapons at will. Thank you very much. And let's see here now. Infantry, what do we want you to do? We want you to head over here just to protect our archers a little bit. How many infantry do we have? Fifteen? Is that all? That's not too good. Okay, well, let's tell... No. Let's tell our royal guard to follow us. Kaguya is doing an excellent job. Very nice. 
Getting quite a few kills. Oh my goodness, wow, she is a sharpshooter, if ever I saw one. And that reminds me, we do need to find Mei Ling before the end of the series, that is for sure. Hopefully I'll be able to find her in a nearby tavern of sorts. Now, let's have a look here. We're going to be telling our cavalry to charge? No, we're not. Are we? Let's tell them to follow me instead. They're going to change position here a little bit. And we'll see what we can do. Hopefully none of them get trapped there. Oh, that would be terrible. At least most of our units are being supported very well by our Oda Hatamoto gunners. Let's do it. And, oh, I get stopped by a spear. Of course I do. How dare you. Okay, well, let's do it. Our cavalry are no doubt going to just charge in now. I think that's fine. And hopefully they won't be stopped like I was by those spearmen. They are rather dastardly units. After all, and I think we can probably charge in our infantry now as well. Don't think we really need to worry about that. And it does appear as though we have a very nice footing here. Or at least I hope so. We have taken them a little by surprise, from the side at least. Not a bad flanking maneuver, although I think it probably would have been better to charge in our infantry first. So, yes, I'll make a mental note of that and I'll attempt to do that in the next field battle that we do against a vassal with over 100 units. I do believe that anyone less than that and it's probably not worth it, so let's just try and take out as many as we can for Bruce and hopefully he'll level up. It's been a while since he's leveled up, that is for sure. So who knows, maybe he is just too far away from actually getting any levels, so <laughs> oh no, that would be terrible. Hmm, wow, okay. So, yes, I think other than waging war against the Usugi, I think what we want to do is potentially head back to Kyoto lands, try and get a couple more Takata units, as well as Oda clan gunners, because I really do like those a lot. They have some very good equipment, and I do like seeing them use their one-handed swords, even though they are gunners, and they're excellent gunners at that. So, that is very, very nice, and as you see here, a declaration of war from the Beartail Shogunate against the Usugi. So, what are we going to do? We're going to head on to Suryoka Castle? Nope, that's definitely not how you say it, but that's what I'm sticking to. So let's head on over here and we'll see. Lord Atagi. Well, he is 117 strong, and it does appear as though a lot of our units right here, Lord Chiba, which I don't believe I've accepted as... One of our official vassals, I do believe he's just running around attempting to say to people that he is one of our vassals, but nevertheless, I don't think we have to worry about him too much, but he was taken prisoner, which is not great. So if we do come across whoever it was that took him prisoner, then I suppose we can free him if we get the opportunity. And we'll just start to level up a couple of these fellows here. There we have it. Oh my goodness, we have so many. Wow. Well, we're getting a couple of samurai wives here, as well as watchmen, some ronin too. Not bad. And so, let's head into the castle. And we are going to be battering down the gates. And, hmm, okay. I actually thought that I was going to be interrupted by Lord Atagi there, but it does appear as though he has lost a little bit of his confidence. Uh, well, never mind. We are now in the siege, and I do believe this is going to be the first of two sieges in this episode. I do hope that we are able to take at least two, maybe even three, if we are lucky. If we are not lucky, then of course two will just have to be our settlement, but at the moment we're just going to try our very best, and we'll try and take these guys out and not get shot many times over. Ouch. Really? Wow. Okay, let's try and survive here, shall we? I'm going to make a vow here, and it's going to be a very loosely based vow. It's not going to be anything that is very serious. We're just going to say that I am going to try, and emphasis on the word try there, to stay alive during this siege. So, if I die, you can, well say things to me in the comments about it, yes. <laughs> okay, well, let's do this. Let's just try to be conservative. Now, the thing is, what's funny is that the only reason I die usually, apart from my own ineptitude, of course, is due to the fact that I want everyone to have a good old fun time and get some entertainment in here. And if I was to stay at the back, like I would probably do if I was playing this off-screen, 
because I don't want to die and I just want to command our units as best I can, but yes, I would just stay at the back and I wouldn't put ourselves in jeopardy. But as I am on screen at the moment, I do like to fight things and make things rather entertaining for everyone. Or at least I hope to aim to accomplish that goal, but yes. That is probably one of the reasons as well, because, yeah, I mean, what fun is it for me to stand back at the entrance there and do nothing for a whole ten minutes while our units win? No, that's not fun at all. So we're just going to head up here and attempt to get some action in here. Oh, yes. Come on, let's do this. Now, I would like to try and get a couple of kills here as well. As I said, I would like to level up Bruce. It would be rather nice to see what kind of skills he has now, because I don't believe we've actually looked at his skills in, I think, forever of this particular series. I do believe that in Gekukujo 2.1, we have not leveled him up once. But that is, of course, because he had a little bit of enhanced progression to catch up to where he was previously, and I suppose that is the reason, because he just has so much experience and we're not able to level up very easily again, so I suppose that is a little disappointing, but we do only have 24 enemies remaining, and I can imagine that if this was a town, then my vow would have been broken long ago, so <laughs> I suppose we can be very thankful that that is not the case, and let's try and headshot that fellow, and then we'll try and headshot that one as well, and maybe a couple of them over there, yes, okay. Oh, no, no, no. No. Let's not hide behind a wall, let's be confident. We're going to head up here, and we'll see what they hold. Hopefully no guns. Yes, okay. We might have the opportunity. Go on, take that guy out. Yes. Okay, corner them. Yes, that's exactly what we want to see. Okay, good. And there might be some in the sniper nest, archery nest, gunner's nest, whatever you want to call it. But let's just see whether there are any... I do you believe there are? Yes, seven enemies remaining. Hmm, this is risky. If I eat a musket ball in the face, then I do believe that will be lights out for us. Oh my, no. No. Bad Uesugi units. Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Yes. Okay, I'm turning them all into melee units. That's very good. This guy can now come down here and we can do some damage to him, hopefully. Thank you very much, Chosakabe Mounted Officer. They're helping us out quite a bit. Now, let's just not get shot. That is all we need to prevent ourselves from doing at the moment. As well as, of course, being hit by some of their more elite units. Come on, yes. Take them out. Now, is that all there is? Yes, that is all she wrote, as they say. And we can now exit and gain our 22 morale. Very nice indeed. I love receiving morale, especially when we are having difficulties with it. And we'll just take as many units as we can here to reimburse our losses. There we have it. Wonderful. Okay, so we can take a little bit of loot. I don't really think that that's going to make too much difference. We do have, well, I think we have a very small amount of food in our inventory, which is probably not a very good idea at all. And now what are we going to do? I think we're going to give this to Lord Sesai. Oh, he's actually doing rather well. Hmm, who is the lowest now? I'm not entirely sure. Well, we'll split the money. There we have it. Wonderful. And let's see. What else can we level up here? Okay. That is wonderful. Very nice indeed. And I will now be waiting here for some time. I know, very strange. Usually I do not wait when we go to siege, but... Yes, we are going to be heading on to Yokote Castle in just a second, and... Aha! I thought that would happen. So, it does appear as though we are going to be entering into it. Really? How dare you, Lord Sesai? Usually I would be very proud of you, but I really wanted to enter into a defensive measure with a siege defense. But never mind. I suppose it's rather nice of him to do that. So we're going to be helping him, of course. We do want to make every effort to help our vassals when they do something good. And now... Let's see here. We are splitting our forces right down the middle, which is something I'm not very pleased about, because usually I like to command all of our units all at once, but maybe he'll allow me to command his units as well. Something tells me that is not going to be the case, though. Or will it? Oh! No, it doesn't. 
I don't believe so. No. Okay. Well, that's disappointing, but never mind. We should have an okay time of it with 32 cavalry to command. Of course, we do have our royal guards as well. They are firing a lot of arrows at us, so let's try to return the favor, shall we? Now, this is where it gets a little bit difficult because I'm not entirely sure whether the chat box is bugged out again. I'm hoping that it has, and I'm actually hitting things. No, I'm not. Okay, I need to aim a little bit higher, I think. Wow. You know what? King Barney would have hit many of these arrows by now. I have no idea why my archery proficiency has gone down in real life. Not in the game, that is for sure. Ah, uh, okay, well... Hmm. Very strange. Am I hitting over them? Maybe I'm hitting over them now. That is interesting. Okay, I really seriously have no idea. Okay. Well, that was a complete failure, wasn't it? No, well, there's seven enemies dead. I'm not entirely sure whether we did that or... Whether the enemies did that themselves. Okay, come on. Let's just charge straight in there. We have our Naganata at the ready. We're going to be telling everyone to charge in, actually, apart from our archers. We'll tell our archers to hold back there. And we'll see what kind of damage we can do. Oh, yes. Do bear in mind that there are two vassals here. So if we can take them out first, then I'm pretty sure they will do much less damage. And yes, it was true. The text log was bugged. So... Maybe I was hitting. Who knows? We have no way of knowing, unfortunately enough. So let's just say that I did. Right? <laughs> yes, okay. Well, maybe in a realistic world, I would, but otherwise, no. Okay. So, they have already received reinforcements. That is good for us. Probably bad for them. Probably. Well, yes, it's rather bad for them, I have to admit. And what else do we have here? 52 enemies remain. I do believe that they have one more wave in them. And that will be the end of these two vassals. Oh, yes. Come on, do some damage. Oh, lovely swipe there from Shogun Bear Tilt. Great. Okay, so we want to get our archers on this ridge here because they are a little bit too far behind, in my opinion. And now we just want to be selective at who we slash at. That is for sure. Let's do this. Oh yeah, look at that. Wonderful motion right there. Okay, three damage. That is impressive. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, come on, take out that guy. Oh, we did some relatively considerable damage for such a slow maneuver. Wow, okay, that's incredible. It must be that our pole arm proficiency is so good, as well as our power strike, of course. And Kaguya is still alive. That is very nice to see. Usually, well, I'd like to say that our companions like to stay alive, but usually they don't. Usually they just run in and forego any caution whatsoever. And there we have it. Shogun Beartield has the honor of the final blow in this field battle. And there we have it. We rescued, shall we say? <laughs> yes, rescued Lord Sasai from his plight. He was going to be... Having a couple of issues there. We'll let Lord Ogasawara go. And then we'll take a couple of enemies prisoner. Okay, we can take as much as we want. And, ah, there's actually no space left in our bags now. So let's have a look at how much food we have. Hmm, actually, pretty nice amount. Not bad. And anyone else leveled up here? We do have some Takata mounted officers. Hatamoto cavalry, elite on Abushis. And we have a watchman, Ronin cavalry. Various other Ronin units, and our first Onabushi in quite some time. That is great to see. Okay, well, before we end this episode off here, I'd like to take a look at Bruce's stats. Now, he is apparently level 41. I do believe in the previous version we were level 38 or 39. So, yeah, I suppose we did level up a little bit off screen there. And, wow. What is going on with our persuasion? Seriously? Did I just read, like, so many persuasion books or something? Because we don't have that much in charisma. Oh my goodness. Oh, actually, it's intelligence. Aha, it's not charisma, but we still only have 17 in intelligence, so I still have no idea how I was able to do that. But I think it might be books. It might be the books. Hmm, very strange. Okay, well, never mind. There it is. And I think we could probably take a look at our character report as well. We do have some excellent renown values here, honor rating value, and of course our right to rule is excellent. 
So there we have it. Very nice indeed. We've taken a castle. Unfortunately, not a Yokote castle. I was hoping we'd be able to do this in this episode, but yes. We'll have to take that off screen, I think, and I'll probably take Shibata as well, and then we'll head to Aizu and potentially the first Uesugi town. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.